Hey guys, it's Dan here from VRFlightWorld.com. So today I'm going to be going over some of my settings from X-Plane 11. So I'm going to show you the first one here, it's visual effects. I usually keep it at high HDR. You can crank it up to maximum, but I find it has a weird effect on my system, so I like to leave it at high. And over here we got the number of objects, so I leave mine at low, but you could crank that all the way up if you uh, have the CPU and GPU to support that. Um, if I was running without VR, I'd probably crank it up. So next we got our texture quality. Uh, I keep this at maximum, no compression. If you uh, notice that you're having a lot of trouble keeping the frame rate, you may want to try lowering this and uh, experiment with it a little bit. Bring it all the way down and then start increasing it one by one. If you notice a big jump in uh, frame rate, um, like it slows down a lot, that might be because uh, you're running out of uh, video card RAM. So uh, just uh, start with none, like all the way to the left and slowly slide it up to the right. So next we have our uh, reflection detail. I keep mine all the way down to minimal. If you want to crank it up, uh, go ahead, try it out. Um, again, I'm running in VR, so all this has to be done twice. If I was running without VR, I could probably crank these settings a lot more than this, but this is my VR setup, so um, that's how I'm running it. So no reflection for me. Um, and uh, I don't notice a huge difference, but if you're over water, you're probably going to notice a little bit of difference. And uh, again, anti-aliasing is an X on the list. Uh, I keep that right in the middle here at 2SSA and then plus FXAA. I've had it lower for a long time um, at FXAA, but uh, I just found it was um, the quality, visual quality increased quite a bit when I moved it up one notch. And uh, the only thing I had to sacrifice was I had to uh, take away my super sampling. So I was super sampling, but not in the X plane. I was super sampling in the Oculus Rift. So I had to take that away in order to boost it up to. So any higher than that, I find I have a really big uh, frame rate hit. So next is uh, draw shadows on a scenery. I don't check that. I find that uh, it's not too hard on the system, but it's enough that I don't uh, check it off. I leave the V-Sync unchecked and then all these other settings are left alone. So let's go to the general tab. Uh, there's uh, one in here, the flight model per frame. I leave that to two uh, default, uh, it's fastest. If you want, you could crank that up and it's gonna calculate your uh, flight model quicker. But in order to do that, it's gonna take more CPU power. And I'd rather just uh, use that CPU power somewhere else. So let's uh, just show you what it looks like when we're flying. So as you can see, it's running pretty good. It's actually running at 45 frames per second. One other thing I forgot to mention was when you're setting up your X-Plane for your flight, there's a couple more settings you can change. Uh, for one, weather is a big factor. If you have a thunderstorm happening, you're gonna have a lot going on for your computer. Uh, another thing that can affect it is how many planes are in the sky. You can add 10 planes or more, and that can really slow down your CPU. So just things to be aware of, and uh, they can really affect your uh, your flight as well as uh, the size of the airport if you're flying in a little airport you're probably going to have a lot more you're going to be able to crank your settings versus a big airport where you're going to have to lower your settings um, i like to have mine so i can fly into a big airport and not notice a decline that's why i have mine on low for objects but uh, if i wanted to if i was in a small airport i could probably crank those up to medium even high depending on the airport so that's it guys Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I always leave a link in the bottom there to let you know what I have um, for my yoke, my rudder pedals, my Oculus Rift, all that stuff. Uh, they are affiliate links, so I do get a little commission if you use them, but uh, I do recommend them because I use them. And if you are interested in using them, I appreciate if you use my link. If not, uh, just look them up on Amazon. 
Um, and uh, yeah, uh, have fun flying and uh, we'll see you in the next video.